thing I've got to understand, when I chop, this guy is just not going to be nice and just say, oh, yeah, sure, you can have that wrist. All right? And I'm watching a lot of people chop off the whistle, which is a great skill. But the difference of me doing that and him not handing me his hand, because he's not, okay, whether, he, whether this guy's a national champ or he's just wrestling a little bit on the side, doesn't matter. He's stronger than me, and he knows that this isn't good, right? You know that, right? Okay? So, as we start to jam and chop, first thing I have to do is jam. I can't just chop off the whistle, okay? So whether I jam with my spiral or jam with my thigh cry, I've got to get weight on his hands. Again, my knees are in his butt, my toes are driving. Now, when I get to this position, I come over the top of the arm and I twist. So it's really not even a chop, it's a twist. I go waist and I twist. And see how I turn his body over his hand. I don't touch his elbow and he hands it to me, right? Which is a lot of the way we drill. And that's practice partner helping us develop bad habits. But when I get weight on his hands and I go tight waist and twist, I might have to turn him 180 degrees before I get this wrist. But did you see how my foot kept driving, kept driving? So guys, when we chop, it's load the hands, chest, over the arm. Load the hands, and this is 